Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. Today, you are going to come with me on a tour of Costco. We are going to take a look at a variety of different items. I am going to share what I think are great deals, uh, some items that I would never buy at Costco, and we're going to do some comparing to some prices at Sobeys, Superstore, and Walmart. I honestly feel that the majority of groceries, majority, not every item, are a better buy if you simply watch your local flyers and buy those items when they are on sale, uh, particularly meat. I, I honestly can say I've only ever purchased meat in Costco a handful of times and it was on sale. So regular price of Costco meat is better than the regular price of the grocery store meat, but sale price of grocery store meat beats Costco's regular prices hands down. So this is something that um, you would definitely want to be aware of. Also, you need to take into account how much space you have. So do you have the space to store these big bulk purchases from Costco? Um, will the jars, those very large jars and bottles, once opened, fit in your fridge well? Uh, and also, like the quantities are really large for, for our family, and there's only two people right now, um, some of those items, we would never use up the food in a timely enough manner um, once opened. So that's also something that needs to play into your decision making process. Come along, let's take a look um, and we'll have some fun doing it. Okay, so one of the things that I think is a great deal at Costco are the Cineplex movie packages. So for an adult, it's two adults two drinks, one popcorn, $31.99. And then for the kids, this is a amazing value as well, $12.49. It's one child admission and one child's mini combo, which is a drink, a popcorn, and a treat. These are items um, that when our kids were little, I would always pick up a couple of these when I was here. It's a certificate uh, because always they would come home, surprise, I was invited to a birthday party, I forgot to tell you about it. These were easy to store and the, the kids who they would gift them to liked receiving them. Fun to give, fun to get. Great price. It was near impossible to find pricing for Cineplex. There's absolutely nothing on their website. Uh, this was a quick Google search for Cinefe Cineplex food prices 2023 Nova Scotia. Um, this did come up. So really, once you are thinking the cost of food and the cost of your admission ticket, I, I love the ease, especially for gifts, of those little um, combination vouchers that you can get at Costco. So just to get an idea of pricing, and I know this video is not going to come across because it's a video of my computer, um, a general admission ticket for an adult for a standard movie is $10.99 through Cineplex, through the, the website, and a child's ticket is $7.25. This is another item I like to have on hand um, for gifts. So if you were a lotto ticket buyer, you would know that getting them in a little gift pack, you always get a little bit better of a value. But here, it's two of the $10 gift packs for $17.99. So that is a pretty good value. And I like to have these on hand too, because if we are invited somewhere, we're gonna tuck a little gift into a, a card. This is a great, idea to get something and have it on hand fairly inexpensively. Salads here can be a really good value if you eat a lot of salads. They come in two packs and they are all the same price, $7.99. I forgot to show the creamy dill, that's always a popular one, $7.99 for two salads. I'm at Sobeys. Here are those uh, Taylor Farms salads, and the regular price of them is $6.99. I'm at Walmart looking at the bag salads. They are $5.47. And I think your Fresh Market is the Walmart brand. So even at two of these, um, definitely way more. 
salad kits at Superstore. $6.99. Spinach is always a really good value here. This is uh, $3.99 for a really large container, so 312 grams. You can see this, how big. So that's a very good value. There's other salad mixes as well, same price. Baby arugula, spring mix, $3.99 for a 312 gram package. Good value. If you're looking for pre-cut veggies, I'm, I'm uncertain. This is a pretty large bag, but $6.99 for this. Uh, this is only uh, an okay value if you would be buying this pre-cut in the grocery store. Over here, the broccoli seems to be a little bit bigger of a package. Um, they're both $6.99. Mushrooms are always a good value at Costco. They always have the cremini and the white. And the price is $5.99. And why I think that's a great value is the size of the package. 680 grams, that's the equivalent of three of the small containers that you would regularly um, get at the grocery store. Mushrooms at Walmart are $2.47 a pack, so that would be $7.50 for three packs. And the cremini are actually $3, so that would be $9 for three packages. Mushrooms here are on sale this week, two for six dollars, so they would be nine dollars for three packages. And if they weren't on sale, they would be ten dollars and fifty cents. And the cremini, I don't even see. Oh, here they are. Same price. No extra. No extra for cremini. So here we have sugar snap peas. This is a 907 gram container, so two pounds two pounds of sugar snap peas for $9.99. This would only be a good value if you're gonna eat this many before they go bad. It's a better value dollar-wise than the grocery store, but this is quite a large quantity, so that's something that you would need to be aware of. Will you eat that many or will they go bad first? These veggie trays at Costco are $15.99. I feel this is in line with a supermarket um, veggie tray. But weirdly, lately, uh, they've had whole peppers in them, which I think is kind of an odd choice for a finger food tray. These store-made chicken pot pies are always high on our list. $10.99. It's a good value for the quantity that you're getting, and you know these have been made fresh here in the store. So that's, that's good. Blend, so Farmer's 10% Blend Cream, $3.49 for a liter. That's a really phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal price. And then you've got Coffee Cream for $3.99. Blend Cream for $4.99, $4.49 at Sobeys. And the Coffee Cream is $5.49. $3.98 for Blend at Walmart and $3.18, that's interesting for the coffee cream. So clearly the prices here at Superstore for blend and cream are much, much higher. We're at $4.79 for blend and $5.39 for cream. The regular price of butter here isn't cheaper than the sale price at the grocery store, but it's absolutely cheaper than the non-sale price. So $5.49 for a pound, 454 grams. And if it's not on sale anywhere, this is a great buy. So cheese, 1.15 kgs of cheese, $14.99. Um, they have a couple different choices. But for me, when cheese is on sale for $4.99 and it goes on sale a lot, you're actually getting 1.2 kgs because the bricks are 400 grams each and you can choose a variety. So you could get three different kinds, mozzarella, cheddar, marble. Here, you're locked in, $14.99, one kind. Store brand cheese is on sale this week at Sobeys for $5.49 uh, a package. Um, one thing that does offer is lots of variety. So mozzarella, lactose-free marble, regular marble, medium cheddar, old cheddar, the mild yellow cheddar, so many 
So many options to choose from. Walmart Armstrong cheese is on for $4.97 this week. Uh, there's not a lot left, but the choice is marble, cheddar, medium, and pizza mozzarella. The pepperoni would also be a top item for me. So this is Chris Brothers, price here $10.99, and you are getting one kg. One kg of pepperoni, and they have mild and sometimes hot, but I don't see any hot today. The Chris Brothers large packages of pepperoni here at Sobeys are $16.99, so the price is more, but they are only 700, 750 grams. Let me just a little better, 750 grams. Those great big packages of pepperoni at Superstore are $16.99, and they are also the 750 grams. The hell of a good dip, $7.99 for a two pack of 500 grams. That's a phenomenal buy, but again, you just have to make sure that you are gonna use 500 grams times two um, before it would go. So I'm here at Sobeys looking at the price of the hell of a good dip. They don't have the same sizing of package uh, that Costco does, but the 680 grams was $8.79 and the 250 grams is $4.49. So definitely the Costco option is a better buy. $7.49 a kg for chicken drumsticks. That's in between $3 and $3.50 uh, a pound. Um, that's nothing to write home about. Like I would watch the grocery store flyers for a better, a better price. Maple syrup is a great buy. One liter, 100% pure maple syrup, made in Canada, $12.99. The only liter I can see on the shelf for maple syrup, $20.99. Everything else that is in line of price with is 500 milliliters. Oh, here's a empty spot, $19.29. We've got two different kinds of one liter maple syrup here, $16.98. And then down here, $15.97. Cheese Whiz is also pretty decent buy, like an everyday buy at Costco. Um, 900 grams for $6.89. Cheese Whiz, 900 grams, 10.99 at Sobeys. A big display of Cheese Whiz for $9.47. So that's much more. If you're not a sale watcher, peanut butter's a okay regular price here. So you've got two kgs for $10.39. I watch for one kg to be on sale at the grocery store for $3.99. So for me, that would make it $7.98 for two kgs. They'd just be in two different bottles. If you are not a flyer watcher or you need it before it goes on sale, this is a, a good value. Two kilograms of peanut butter at Sobeys, uh, $12.99, regular price. Two kilograms of great value peanut butter, $8.47. That's actually a very, very good buy, regular price. Kirkland Mayo, 1.9 liters, so it's a real big bottle, $8.99. Uh, that would be more than two bottles at the grocery store, so good value. However, this week, Hellman's 1.8 liter is on for $8.49, so this week buying the name brand is the better buy. And that's almost, the regular price is almost that much um, for just a, a small jar, 890 milliliters at the grocery store. Two different sizes of Hellman's at Sobeys. There's 1,420 milliliters, so 1.42 liters on for $11.49. And then there's just the regular sizes. Um, these are on sale this week, but the regular price says it's $7.99, and these are the 890 milliliters. Walmart also has the larger jars of Hellman's and the smaller jars. The bigger ones, $9.68, and the smaller, $6.47. The big bottles of Hellman's at Superstore, way in the back, are $11.49. 
and the small ones are is that a price? Yep, five forty nine. Regular seven ninety nine. So this is something I would never buy at Costco. Eight cans of tuna. Eight cans for fifteen ninety nine. I would simply wait until they were on in the flyer for a dollar each. Eight cans for eight dollars. Here is the skipjack tuna at Sobeys on for $1.99. Um, I, I still wouldn't pay $1.99 for it, but that's still cheaper than buying those cans at Costco. The shelf is empty right now at Walmart, but the tuna was $1.97. Pickles aren't the buy that they used to be at Costco. I've stopped buying them here. Um, two liters, $7.99. I simply watch the sale flyers at the grocery store and pick them up when they're on sale um cheaper regular price of pickles at sobeys is not a better buy but definitely i would wait for them to go on sale so here's the regular price of pickles at walmart so for one liter three dollars and 57 cents a couple different options right so that's substantially cheaper than the bigger jars and these ones fit in my fridge much better the best buy on pickles at Superstore this week is $4.99, even a little bit cheaper than the no-name brand, but again, I would just wait for a better sale or get it at Giant Tiger. Not Giant Tiger, Walmart. Regular prices, just the cheapest. So this whole little section is pasta sauce. Says it's organic, all natural. I just have a really hard time paying $12.99 for two bottles. $17.99 for three bottles. Just, I just can't, can't do it. Lots of options for pasta sauce. There's expensive pasta sauce. There's regular pasta sauce. I mean, the Catelli Garden Select is on this week, two for $3. And even Classico's on for $4. Chicken broth, $11.99. Six packages in here. Um, I'm a no. I would just wait for it to be on sale in the flyer. These big cans of seasoned chicken breasts. There's six cans here. Um, interestingly, I'm a yes for this. They retail at $17.99. The cans are approximately twice the size of what you would think of, like a can of tuna, or if you were buying um, canned meat in the grocery store. I think it's a really good, really good value, and the quality is really good. It's all um, chicken breast inside. Four kgs of sugar, five dollars and eighty-nine cents. I'd be a no for that. Sugar Atlantic is on this week in one of the flyers for a dollar eighty-eight. So I just wait until it goes on sale in the flyer. The lemon juice is a really good price. That's for two bottles. But again, how much lemon juice will you use? Spices here are a good value, definitely 100%. Uh, just how long would it take you to use a, a bottle this big or a bottle that big? Awful long time. And the space um, is also a consideration when you're buying in bulk. Where are you going to store this stuff? This is a new one for me. I didn't even know they sell sold these here, these little pizza kits. So it's a pizza kit, it's $9.99. Gives you four crusts and four sauces. So this would give you, um, obviously, four pizzas. But $2.50 a piece. I, I do feel that that is a good value if you're not gonna make it yourself. Into the medications, this is definitely a great buy. $12.99 for 250 liquid gels, um, store brand. Uh, in the grocery store or pharmacy would be much, much more for way less caplets. Here we are with the Kirkland brand arthritis. So this would be like the equal to Tylenol um, arthritis. You've got 400 caplets for $19.99. That's a phenomenal buy. We'll do a quick pan of the diapers here. We are $52.99. For Huggies, $192. We are $46.99 for Kirkland. These are size three, so $222. 
We are $52.99 for Huggies again. Huggies plus little movers. Carry on down. So that's pretty standard. $46.99 for the Kirkland and $52.99 for the Huggies. Here's another really good value if you have allergies. This is 200 allergy tablets, the 24 hour tablets for $10.99. That is incredibly cheap. If you don't know, that's super cheap. Well, that was kind of fun. You can see some items that I am definitely a fan of at Costco. Uh, I will say that I don't have a membership at Costco uh, because I think that it's gonna save me lots of money on groceries. For me, Costco membership comes out of my entertainment budget. I just love Costco for the hustle and the bustle. They always have different items for me to look at, whether I buy them or not. And if I am in there, uh, there is definitely some really great buys to be had. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I sure would love it if you would do so. Share the video, leave your comments, and let me know. Are you a Costco yes, or are you a Costco no?